In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to record and live stream using your Logitech Brio webcam in 1080p using open broadcaster software. It's a free software that you can Google right now and use. You can follow along with me today. I love the Brio because you can get beautiful wide shots like this. It's got a 90 degree angle lens so you can do awesome shots of your studio or whatever you're filming, your ballet class, your yoga studio, whatever. Also, you can get great face cam shots if you put it on a cool mount like the one I've got here. If you haven't already bought this camera, it's the best webcam on the market. Link in the description below to the actual camera if you want to purchase it. This tutorial assumes that you already reached this step right here, where you have a signal of your Logitech Brio running into the Logitech G-Hub software. If you don't already have your drivers, if you don't already have your G-Hub up and running, I have a playlist link in the description below that'll get you to this step, okay? So let's close G-Hub and let's go ahead and open OBS. So your first step in OBS, Open Broadcaster Software, is to create a new profile by clicking up here at the top, click New. I've named mine Logitech Brio. And create a new scene collection, click New, and I've named mine Logitech Brio. Before you add your camera to the pane, you need to make sure all of your settings are ready for 1080p video in the basic settings down here. Click the settings tab and it'll pull up this menu. When you go to the video tab right here, you'll want to select your base canvas resolution as 1920 by 1080. You'll want to select your output scaled resolution as 1920 by 1080. I recommend bumping up your downscale filter to 36 samples and just keep it at 30 FPS. You may want to do something higher than that, but 30 works really well for this camera. Hit apply, but do not hit OK. Next step, go to the output tab. It'll keep you on simple here at first. You're going to need to select advanced to make sure all the settings are working well. This is where you're going to set up your streaming settings as well as your recording settings. Uncheck Enforce Stream Service Encoder Settings because you want to make your own. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, select the NVIDIA NVEC encoder as your encoder. If you do not, use the X264 encoder. Every computer should have something with the number 264 in there as your encoder. Awesome. Your next step leave your rate control at CBR, which is constant bit rate, and you're gonna select whichever bit rate you can stream at. Generally, this is going to be whatever your maximum bandwidth is, minus 30%. So for me, I generally stream at about 6,000. Yours is going to depend on your internet connection. For your keyframe interval, a good standard is two. It depends on the platform you're streaming to, but I like to use two across the board. It's the industry standard. You can also leave that field at zero. Leave the rest of these sitting settings the way they are. Click apply, but not okay. Then go to recording tab. Here, you need to select the different types of formats and bit rate that you're going to be recording in. First things first, select a folder by hitting browse, browse for a folder that you actually want to record your videos to that you can remember that is separate from hopefully your main videos folder. For me, I, I record my videos to my storage drive. You can record your videos wherever you would like. Select your folder and that part of the tutorial is done. Then you select your recording format. I prefer MP4 because it is the most compatible recording format out there. If you're gonna be handing your videos to an editor or using it on any other machines in the future, MP4 is the way to go. Then for your encoder, I recommend selecting the other encoder other than the one you are streaming with here. So if you're streaming using the X264 encoder, I recommend recording then using the NVIDIA encoder. Depending on your computer, depending on your graphics card, this may help you split the recording and streaming load between your CPU and your GPU. Mileage is going to vary depending on your system. Doing two different ones is generally a good option for most systems in my experience. For your recording bitrate, you're going to select something higher than what you're streaming at most likely. If you're doing 1080p video, You'd start at about 6,000 kilobits per second, and you can go all the way up to 30 if you want. Generally speaking, 10,000 is a good kind of middle of the road bitrate. 
between six to 10,000 is generally going to be high quality enough for most projects. Depends on what you are recording. 10,000 is a good middle of the road option. Select the same keyframe interval that you're streaming at. And for my preset, for my quality with my recordings, I like to go max quality. Once again, it depends on your hardware and whether your computer can handle it. I can use the new NVIDIA encoder, which takes the load off of my CPU and puts it onto my GPU. Your computer may have a different situation. Hit apply, but do not hit okay. Next step, go to the audio tab. I think this is very important. I know this is a video tutorial, but don't forget this step. I like to max out my audio quality on all channels for all of my streams and for all of my recordings. If you leave it at 128, which is what almost everybody does in OBS, you are going to have a mid to low quality MP3 level audio. If you move it up to 320, you will have a very high quality audio by MP3 standards. I recommend doing that. It will make your quality increase. Last step, when you're streaming, I'm not gonna go over how to set up each individual stream platform. Select your stream platform and log in or enter your RTMP code there's a million different options out there. I'm not going to go over every one of them. Great. Now your settings are done. You might be asking, oh my God, that took so long to get your settings done. You have to do all those steps first before you add your camera because now your canvas is a 1080p canvas. Now you're going to be outputting in 1080p. Now you're going to be streaming in 1080p. Now you're going to be recording in 1080p. So now when you add your camera here, it's actually going to be 1080p. Cool, I'm gonna disappear and let's add your camera to the sources. Click the plus button down here under sources and you're gonna scroll up to video capture device. Click that. You'll pull up this menu, name it whatever. I'm gonna name mine Logitech Brio. Hit okay. It's gonna pull up your Brio automatically or some sort of other video device for you automatically and that's cool. It's not 1080p, as you can see, it's four by three format. So select your resolution right here by, cl by clicking custom. Then in the resolution dropdown menu, select 1920 by 1080. I generally like to match the output FPS, which is 30 in this case, it usually works quite well. And for your color range, you can do default. I like doing full, you get a bit more range on your color and it brings out the color in your skin tone if you have a lighter skin tone like me especially. Now hit okay. As you can see, I'm now full screen. If the image that pulls up on the screen right now is a different size than your canvas, you may have screwed up one of your other settings. It's okay, you can always right click, go to transform, and hit fit to screen. It will automatically fit the image to the size of the screen that you're working with. Excellent. Now you're going to need some audio input to go with your camera, right? So we're gonna to go to the plus button. I'm gonna to go to audio input capture and I'm gonna call mine the uh, boom mic. I have a Rode boom mic above this computer. That's mine. You add whatever mic you're going to be using to record, okay? The device I'm going to be using is going to be the Focusrite USB audio. It can be whatever yours is, okay? It's just an example. As you can see, I'm starting to get levels through that boom mic right here. All right, what we're gonna do is you're gonna mute your Logitech Brio microphone if you're not using that microphone and you want to hide it if you're using an external microphone. With this external microphone, there's going to be a little bit of a desync. I'm gonna turn my camera back on there's gonna be a little bit of desync between the video that's on the canvas and your audio that's coming through your mic. You have to fix that desync or your recordings are gonna look weird, okay? You can even see the desync right now as I'm recording. You see how the Brio is at a different uh, visual speed versus audio than the camera here in the corner where I'm at right now? We have to fix that. So if you click right here on this cog next to whatever your microphone is, and you go to advanced audio properties, this will allow you to sync up your microphone audio with the visuals that are coming through your Logitech Brio. This is essential. And this is called the sync offset. Generally speaking, whatever mic you're using, if you're doing 1080p video with the Logitech Brio, something like 75 milliseconds to 
100 milliseconds is generally how much your audio and your video are off. You're gonna need to do a few test recordings to test it out and to review your footage later, but let's just say that's the case. And if you have a microphone that is mono like mine, you'll wanna check the mono button and it will duplicate the mono channels and make it stereo for you. You're gonna hit close. So what that did is that delayed the microphone on the setup by 100 milliseconds so that it matches up with the video on the preview pane. Why does this happen? Real quick, so you remember this for the rest of your career, video is slower than audio. Why? Because video signals are much larger than audio signals. So it takes your computer a longer period of time to process the video you're watching right now than it does to process the audio. So you have to slow down the audio so that it matches up with the video. That's what sync offset is. It slows down your mic audio to match your video, which is slower because it's bigger and it's heavier. The file size is larger. Make sense? Cool. Now, in order to stream and record, you just click these buttons in the bottom right hand corner. You hit start recording right there if you wanna record. You hit start streaming right here if you wanna stream. Obviously, I haven't entered my stream, but you would be streaming if I had. That's how you record, that's how you stream in 1080p using the Logitech Brio. Make sure you do the sequence with the settings first before you add your camera and start fresh if you didn't do it in the exact order I showed you today. Once again, if you're interested in buying the Logitech Brio webcam, link in the description below. I'll even link the stand and the lights I'm using to make this look happen. It's a really tight look, I think and it can give you a near perfect green screen look or studio look using this camera. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your Brio. It's the best webcam out there. I recommend it to all my clients. I even own two of them, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.